everybody, my name is Zara Rubio. I'm a health and wellness educator with Health Promotion Services and welcome to Hungry for Healthy. Hungry for Healthy is a program where we teach you how to cook healthy meals on a budget. And today we'll be cooking vegetarian potato flatas. And this is a great recipe to try if you want something quick, simple, and if you want to use up some canned goods in your pantry. So let's get started. So this recipe is really simple. All you need are is one can of corn, one can of black beans, three potatoes, which I've already started boiling so we can get that cooking faster. Your flour. Here we have, we were able to find big flour tortillas. So use whatever you have in your pantry. And we're going to cut this in half to use to roll our flautas. You also need some olive oil, onions, garlic, and your seasonings. So we need sea salt, cumin, and some pepper. So to start, you wanna boil your potatoes. I have potatoes here boiling already and I've cut them in small pieces so that they can cook a little faster. Once your potatoes are ready, you'll know that they'll be ready when they are, when you stick your fork in there or your knife and they're tender. So these are just about ready. We'll give it about two more minutes. While that's cooking, let's prepare our onions and our garlic. So you need about two garlic cloves. This is a garlic bulb and to get the garlic cloves, you just need to get the pieces that's in there. And I already have two here for, for me. And what you wanna do is you wanna smash the garlic so you can get the skin from it. Mince your garlic well. Once your garlic is all minced, you want to set it to the side. And before you start cooking, remember to wash your hands and practice proper hand hygiene. So I've already done that prior to cutting. Next, we're going to do our onions. You need about one small onion, but because our onions are so large, we'll just use one half. So I like to cut the onions in half and then cut both ends. So it's easy for me to peel it. And you want to take that first layer off of the garlic. Go ahead and cut these into cubes. So I like to hold both ends of the garlic and just go ahead and cut in slices. the other way so you'll get nice little cubes. If you missed any, go ahead and just chop those as well. Right. So we have our onions and garlic ready. And our potatoes are just about ready. We'll go ahead and check that. This should take about 10 or so minutes and our potatoes are done. We'll go ahead and strain this and set it to the side.
So we have our potato set to the side over here and we're going to use that same pot. Go ahead and warm that up about medium heat and we'll add some olive oil and we'll saute our vegetables. Calls for about one tablespoon or so. Give it a good stir. And we'll add our garlic. Our spices. So we need some cumin and it calls for about one tablespoon cumin. So a tablespoon over here. some salt and pepper to taste. You want to make sure you're keeping an eye on how much salt you put in your food because we want to reduce the amount of sodium intake that we have. The cumin is going to do wonders with making sure that you have a lot of flavor into your dish so the salt really isn't needed as much so you just need a little bit. So we'll let this saute and cook down until your onions are translucent. So I have here prepped my canned beans, black beans, and you want to use, make sure that your black beans are rinsed and drained, so is with your corn. Black beans are a great source of protein and they're fairly inexpensive and readily available and they store really well in your pantry. And you can use fresh corn or frozen corn, whichever is most accessible to you. At this time, you're also welcome to add in other types of vegetables. So if you want to add bell peppers, uh, zucchini, this is a great time to do that as well. Use up whatever you have in your pantry. This is the stir. onions are sauteing, we'll take our tortillas here. And we'll just cut them in half. Easier for us to roll our flat vest later. So I have about four tor tortillas from my two tortillas that I've cut. And you need about 12 for this recipe. The recipe calls for corn tortillas. You can also substitute it for whole wheat tortillas to get some extra fiber into your diet. our corn and our black beans. Give this a good stir. 
black beans. sautés for about a minute or so. While that's sautéing, we want to mash our potatoes. Just take your cut potatoes. We have a masher over here and we just want to mash it. I left the skin on in my potatoes, but you're more than welcome to peel your potatoes if you'd like. It doesn't have to be perfectly mashed, some good chunks are okay. The recipe also calls for green chilies, but that's optional. You don't need to add that if you can't find it at the grocery store. So this is the consistency that you want. It's not fully mashed. Some pieces in there. Just want to make sure there's you got all of it. Small pieces are okay, big chunks you want to make sure you're mashing. Alright, so our potatoes are just about done. I'm going to give this a good stir. your heat and then you can add your vegetables into your potatoes and mix that all together. Just want to give it a good mix. So all your ingredients are combined. allow that to cool so it's easier for you to wrap and while that's cooling we're going to warm up a skillet and you can use a cooking spray or just a little bit of oil to make sure that the flatas don't stick to the pan when you pan fry it later. And what you want to do is you want to measure out a good spoonful to the middle of your tortillas. We're going to roll them into small little flatas. And if some of your ingredients fall out, that's okay. Just move them to the side and continue.
just want to make sure that your pan is warm and go ahead and put your tortilla, your flapas on there. You just want to do this until it's crispy. makes about six servings and you can definitely save the filling and wrap your flautas each time you want to cook your each time you want to eat your meal so that way they're fresh and they stay crispy These are just about ready, so we'll take our food here, and they're ready to be served. Just cooking we want to prep our toppings so we have here some tomatoes and you can add lettuce and cilantro on there and what you want to do is you want to cut your tomatoes in dices just cut it in half so go ahead and dice your tomatoes And 
then get some lettuce. And you wanna finely slice your lettuce. Cilantro. 